What's up guys, Jimmy That2 here and welcome back to Diablo 1. Remember last time? We found out that in the Beelzebub HD mod, um, the dungeon resets itself every time you load up the game. You keep your character, you keep your quest progress and all that stuff, but the dungeon itself actually gets re-rolled, much more like a roguelike. Which I think is a pretty nice touch. Really improves the uh, replayability of the game. So, with that in mind, I did fight my way through level 1 again. And we're starting off the video on level 2. Being a little bit more confident to take out things in melee now that we are uh, level 6. I did go through town. I stuck up on plenty of mana potions. We should have uh, plenty of spells. And we keep finding more mana potions. It's a good start. I also recharge my staff because like an absolute ding dong, I forgot to do that in the last episode. <laughs> That's why I couldn't use the staff's charge bolt spell. Never mind, it's all good. Let's get this archer. Starting to get more varied enemies now. Uh, heal. Oh, it's a boss! Did not even realize. Oh well. <laughs> I have to say as well, a huge, huge thank you to everyone that's come to the channel. Um, as of the as of the recording of this video, I have gained 14 subscribers and around 2,000 views on episodes one and two. And I know that doesn't it's not a huge deal. It's not they're not massive numbers, but um, I really, really appreciate it. So thank you so much, guys really means a lot to me. And I will take that as a sign that you guys want to see more from me, so hopefully we can do good on this series. And that'll open the way for more series in the future. God damn it. Die, you heathen beast. So we did level up again, let's get some more magic, as you know we are going for pretty much a straight up just magic build. Straight up magic, collect all these golds, lovely 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 golds. Ooh. So we have found the entrance to the water passage, so we can actually take it on and finish that quest today, hopefully. Being level 7 with 65 magic and some pretty okay level spells at this point, we should be fine. So here we go. I thought it was really cool finding out that um, the Beelzebub mod re-rolls re the dungeon every time you load it up. It makes it more of a roguelike. Especially since the original pitch document for Diablo 1 was recently released. And it included features that made it sound like much more of a roguelike. I believe originally the game was supposed to be turn based. So that's an interesting. I'm, I'm kind of glad they went with the action RPG instead. I think during the time that Diablo came out, um, Final Fantasy pretty much had cornered the market on, for the time anyway, for uh, turn-based RPGs. But uh, not enough mana. Nope. Okay. What level is that? Level two Fireball. We could do with a more powerful Fireball spell, but um, 65 magic and plenty of mana potions. My 
maybe we should... I've been finding a lot of books of Heal Mother. Which is really bizarre. Might have to buy... A Firebolt book or two from Adria. Just to level up Firebolt a little bit more. What level is our... Volleyball is level 3. Oh god, this is bad. My god, that music brings back some memories. <laughs> they got the atmosphere in this game so, so dead on. It's so good. Playing through the first time, all those years ago, it's just... Absolute masterpiece. I went on to inspire, like, so many great games. Like, I, I do dabble in Path of Exile a little bit, um, every now and then. Um, playing through that for the first time as well, brought back a lot of the same kind of memories. Get out of here, you little red man. Come here. Come here. There we go. Not enough mana. Damn it. Need to remember to keep an eye on my mana. But yeah, I mean, um, 90s game. Oh god, there's the boss. 90s games like this absolutely nailed the atmosphere. Right, I need to be careful here. Ramak the Poisoner. Come on. There we go. But yeah, 90s games like Diablo, um, the Alien Trilogy on PlayStation 1, uh, Doom, all that kind of stuff, they just, they just dripped atmosphere. They just oozed atmosphere. And there we go. Poison Well Quest complete. All the monsters have been killed. Which means... We can go back to town. And we can... Get our reward from uh, Pepin. Maybe it's just nostalgia talking, but I do feel that way. That a lot of the older 90s games just, oh, they, their atmosphere is incredible. I mean, atmosphere in games today is real good. But there was really something special about these games. I think it's because they had to work with much more limited resources. So they put that little bit more extra effort into uh, the atmosphere. Which you can really appreciate uh, coming back as an older, Not enough an older player. Okay, so we're not far off leveling up again, which is pretty good. The game has been really generous with its uh, level ups so far, which I think is is pretty good. I think they've balanced it a lot better than in the base game. Alright, so we want to... We could go back to town and get the reward, but I'm, I'm kind of feeling just... Um, Just exploring the rest of floor two, see what we can find. Skeletons and barrels, apparently. <laughs> okay, let's identify that fire em fire emblem, dire emblem. <laughs> JRPGs on the brain. What about that jaguar plus hit points. Yeah, uh, yeah, I want to keep that other one for now. Let's put some of these on the hot bar. So I did stock up on plenty of mana potions because from the last episode it was it was obvious that we needed them. It's because we did struggle a little bit. We ran out of um, staff charges for. Uh, Charge bolt. There's another boss. Puke rat. I recognise that name. 
But we did struggle a little bit in the last episode because one, I didn't realise that the dungeon re um, got re-rolled in between loads. And two, I didn't, I just didn't stack up on enough, uh, didn't stock up on enough mana potions, so. But you know, you live and you learn. Life's a journey. Every day's a school day. Getting some decent experience from these guys. We're, uh, almost leveled up again. Killed a couple of bosses, which is nice. There we go, level up. Uh, character 70 magic. And this looks like the butcher's room. <laughs> oh god, why? Um. See you then, I guess. What? Is that a false alarm? I clicked on the door by accident, but it didn't seem to do anything. <laughs> I want to kill these guys because I really don't... If I'm going to do this, I really don't want to do this. But if I'm going to do this, then I really don't want anyone sneaking up on me. Die, you crazy kin. Oh, there's another library. Okay, let's uh, take out these guys and get the library. What is this red room about? Is this Twin Peaks? Ah, <laughs> good shot. Okay. Damn it, wrong button. Burning dead! I see you down there, skeleton. Trying to sneak up on me. Damn it. We. Ooh! A rare scimitar. We do seem to be having, um. A lot of luck today. Not really getting hit that much. Which is always nice. Okay, Tome of Healing. Frost Shard. Sort some of this out. Okay, so Frost Shard, I believe, is a brand new spell added by Belzebub. So we're gonna have to check that out at some point. In fact. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Seems like there's um custom animation well. Custom assets and stuff for the spells as well. Haha, <laughs> not today, trap. Screw you. Okay, Frost Shard is pretty good. Frost Shard is pretty good. Pick up the gold, you maniac. I'm going to stick with Frost Shard for a little bit. Just because it's a new spell, and uh, I think it's a new spell anyway. Yeah, it doesn't look quite vanilla. So I'm guessing it's a uh, Belzebub spell. I wonder if it slows. That'd be really cool if it actually caused slow. Let's check. Looks like it's doing something. Yeah, it does. It causes slow. That's cool. I can dig it. I can get on board with that. Right, okay, let's... I need to know. I need to know what this is about, because I opened the door, nothing happened. So, we have the quest. The room is here. This is the butcher. This is, like, nightmare fuel from my childhood. But I opened the door by accident, but nothing happened. So... 
Let's do it. He's not here. What? Did the game bug? Maybe that's, um, oh god. Nice dodge skeleton. Maybe it's um, a red herring. Maybe, I don't know. I'm kind of suspicious of Beelzebub now. <laughs> Maybe it's just a red herring. And, uh, <laughs> he's actually wandering and patrolling the dungeon itself. Rather than being stuck in his room like he was in the base game. I don't know. I have no idea. Kind of a terrifying thought. If anyone knows anything about Beelzebub and can tell me whether that is a bug or whether um, whether it is a red herring or a false flag or whatever, then uh, do let me know. I do want to find out as much as possible about the about the mod. Okay, Frostbolt. Frostbolt seems to be doing well. So waypoint. Oh, excellent. Excellent. That is so helpful. Okay, let's go back to Fireball, just because it's a high level spell. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Spike Club. Burning dead. Burning dead. Where would I put this? So what level is our healing spell now? Level 3, okay. What level is heal other? Level 4. <laughs> Amazing. I do wonder if it added some cool stuff like heal other damages undead. Or something like that. Oh god. Don't know what don't know what scroll that was. I think it yeah, it was a healing one. Okay. Shut I don't need that at all. A couple of people were asking me on Reddit and in the comments, I think, whether this game can be played on uh, multiplayer. No. This cannot currently be played multiplayer. Um, there's an option in the main menu, but it's greyed out. So, I think it's something that the devs the mod devs were planning on adding eventually, but haven't got round to it yet. And it has been quite a while since the mod was updated. So I don't know if it's dead and this is the final one. But uh, the mod is still worth checking out, absolutely. If you're a big, big Diablo fan and you want an excuse to play the first game again, Download the mod, the link will be in the description below, as it will be for all of these videos. Give it a go. It's absolutely if you're a die hard if you're a diehard Diablo fan, I can't express how worth it the mod is. Absolute joy to play. Loving it so far. I cannot get that. That's probably 90% nostalgia talking, but uh can you blame me? Such a great game. Such a great franchise. I cannot get there from here. Well, kill the skeleton that's in the way, then, you silly silly man. Ding dong. Okay. So we're doing well. We completed the Poison Well quest. I'm not sure about the butcher quest. Maybe it has something to do with only being able to have one quest active at once. I cannot get there from here. So, and the Poison Well quest was the last quest that I actually took. So, maybe once we complete the Poison Well quest, we'll be able to do the Butcher or something. I don't know. Maybe I will have to load the game a few times and start recording when I find a good seed. I cannot get there from here. Oh, shut up. Always complaining. 
love that open the door on the right there, like, oh, hi. Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior Fireball? I have no room. Ooh, another frost, uh, another frost shard. Let's just use them, because why not? What are that? Frost shard level two, okay. So I'll resurrect. Okay, let's, uh, oh, that's a lot of skelly bones. Yeah, so we've got archers now. Archers can, and ranged attackers in general can be a little bit more of a pain in the ass for the sorcerer because obviously you've got mutual advantage over each other. Um, shouldn't be too difficult though. Just got to adapt. I have no room. Another dark pact. Okay. So where do we need to go on floor two now? Looks like we can go over this way. See if there's any goodies around here. We'll finish exploring floor two. We'll go back and hand in the poison well quest. We have the waypoint now, so we can come straight back down to floor two. That is super, super handy. That's what I mean about this mod. There's just so much thought has gone into it. Like, well, we want to we want to make the game more roguelike. Let's randomize the dungeon every time you load the game. They might not get a tome of teleport or a book of teleport for a while. Okay, let's add the waypoints from Diablo 2. Do you know what I mean? It's like it's it's just good design. And you see that more and more in the indie game industry. Or just amateur game industry. Just good design overall. Okay, let's actually head back up to town then. Head back up to town, hand in the quest, get the reward, and then we'll probably end the video there, because I do want to keep them around 20 minutes. You know, a little bit over, a little bit under, doesn't matter so much, but around 20 minutes. Look at look at these guys. I'm in a proper little chin wag in the middle of town there. Get back to work, you crazy lazy men. Whoa! What can I do for you? You can take some of my things. Oh yeah, you can't actually do that. <laughs> um Hello my friend. Stay a while and listen. White cap staff of quality. So I did equip this staff in the offhand slot just because you know just because you can uh, white cap that is three armor resist magic there we go Whoa, what can I do for you Griswold you can take some of this crap don't really want to bother identifying these although it might be worth it hello my friend stay a while and listen Bitter Sever. Dread Razor. Greetings. Not you, Yugi. Well, Get out of well, the way. What can I do for you? Oh yeah, that was worth it, definitely. Definitely. Look at all that gold. Excellent. Okay, let's go and hand in the quest. I'm gonna talk to Pepin. What's that you say? The mere presence of the demons has caused the water to become tainted? Oh, truly a great evil lurks beneath our town, but your perseverance and courage gives us hope. Please, take this ring. Perhaps it will aid you in the destruction of such vile creatures. Well, thanks for that, Pepin. Get some healing. Get the ring, and we'll go and identify it. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. <laughs> Damn it, Kane! Why did you have to die? <laughs> Ring of Truth. Yeah, that's a pretty standard quest reward for the Poison Well. Um, resist all plus ten, minus one damage, hit points plus ten. Yeah, that's pretty standard for that quest. And it 
looks like Ogden has another quest for us. The village needs your help, good master. Some months ago, King Leoric's son, Prince Albert, was kidnapped. The king went into a rage and scoured the village for his missing child. With each passing day, Leoric seemed to slip deeper into madness. He sought to blame innocent townsfolk for the boy's disappearance and had them brutally executed. Less than half of us survived his insanity. The king's knights and priests tried to placate him, but he turned against them and, sadly, they were forced to kill him. With his dying breath, the king called down a terrible curse upon his former followers. He vowed that they would serve him in darkness forever. This is where things take an even darker twist than I thought possible. Our former king has risen from his eternal sleep and now commands a legion of undead minions within the labyrinth. His body was buried in a tomb three levels beneath the cathedral. Please, good master, put his soul at ease by destroying his now cursed form. Okay, so yeah, we do have another quest. We have to go and find the body of King Leoric and put it down for good. Wurt, the lad, what have you got to say? You're over, Psst. Chamber Butcher, the From Spell Portal down the cast. Saying, am I what see? What? Get out it figured you haven't. Understand, could you even so simple it make to try die? Chamber Butcher, the From Spell Portal down the cast. Okay, that's interesting. Um, that actually tells us how to fight the Butcher. It looks like we do have to go to the room and then cast Town Portal, maybe? Yes, no, maybe so. Um, that seems like what it's saying, which, if is the case, is interesting and is something that Beelzebub added. And I think that's actually really, really cool that they added more of a puzzle element to some of the quests. Okay then guys, we'll try that out in the next um, in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and comment if you feel so inclined. And I'll see you all in the next one.